backstage before our show in Denver, Colorado. Uh, Maha City! Now, the two options that you guys voted for, for us to taste, were uh, pizza from Bojo's. Bojo's Pizza! Here, let's give him a little peek at Sure. It. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is... The braided crust, official Colorado style. We've got some honey for, for putting on to the crust. This is the chicken what? Pizza? Roasted Italian chicken. Roasted, Italian, Roasted Italian, chicken. Italian chicken. And then we've got the, the hot one uh, called the firecracker pizza. Firecracker. That's a hot mm. chicken. Both of the ones we got were chicken. So it's basically ranch and hot sauce base. But the other thing was a smothered breakfast burrito from Sam's Number 3. Mm. Sam's Number 3 is closed on Sunday. So the third option was Rocky Mountain Oysters. <laughs> it from, uh, what's it called? Buckhorn. Buckhorn uh, Exchange. Buckhorn Exchange. Mm -hmm. okay. Britain thought we were having a breakfast burrito until right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's take a look. First of all, I'm not happy about this because I I've been excited about the different foods. I've been on a balls diet, meaning no I've been eating balls. balls. Yeah, no balls. No balls meal plan. Now, I will say most of the time we eat balls, we do not eat them prepared. Let's, you know, Let's nice take way. a look at them, and then I have a couple of questions. Well, they're balls. If one of your questions is, are they balls? They are balls. Okay. They're like... I can do that. These are strips. Strip slices. I would suggest dipping. Ew. Looks like we've got some kind and of... Lincoln said it's a it And this just looks like... Is that co that's, cocktail that, that, sauce? That's a cocktail sauce. Okay, I think you that. should eat balls with cocktail sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Poetic um, I think that's like a tartar. For some reason, you put the same stuff you it's put very on. Very radishy. That'll cover up some stuff. Yeah. Whatever dip you want. I mean, my question was, is this a gimmick for tourists, or do locals enjoy this? We'll see. Hey. Well, how are we gonna see? <laughs> <laughs> We're not locals. I don't think that like they all, they all eat it, but I think that I think it's a little bit of both. Right. My answer. Naked? Yeah. Come on, man. Eat the whole thing. I will eventually. Um, Regrets that I'm not having a good time. It's. It just tastes like a fried piece of. Unflavorful meat. Flesh. Unflavorful flesh. I'm not going to be more specific than that. I'm also not going to eat another one. Not because it's not great. Um, but I'm going to finish this one. That's the best, Solidarity. The best ball I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> I'd say by a long shot. By a long shot. I am going to eat another one because I want to get the other dip. This it's is better with this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're going to eat balls, get cocktail sauce because it really helps. Okay. Lily and Lincoln, you guys get to finish this. No thanks. <laughs> um, the fact that that's even edible, if I was super, super hungry, I, I, could, eat a, I could eat quite a bit of them. I think it's a thing. I mean, I don't think it's just a tourist here. I'm kind of blown away. If those end up in my hotel room, they won't be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you would eat all those? Yeah. Tonight? Well, take them. I I'll probably you to have them. They won't be good later, though. They gotta be good. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the honey here mm -hmm. for when you get down to that delectable crust. Oh, it's so good. No, again. You, you, you guys just have cheese. Is there cheese in the crust? No. There's the like first the time I ever had this type of pizza, probably 2003, we were in Colorado, had this exact pizza from Bojo's, and now I regularly make this. At, at, home, my, yeah. at my house. I don't braid the crust because I'm not advanced. There's a lot of jalapenos in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is a good pizza. Yeah. It's like, um... Look at that. Texas There's so Pete. much going on in there. Texas Pete hot. <coughs> oh, no. the hotter. Oh, no. <laughs> no marinara on that. Straight up jalapenos. Hmm. Or jalapenos, as a lot of people from where we grew up say. Um, 
It's hot sauce mixed with ranch as the base. Then you got this tender chicken, jalapeno, and then you wait for the end so you can throw some honey on that. Get some relief. Do you like it? Can you see the cheese? You can go back to the oysters if you want. Do you Those see that right there, Link? Better. The cheese goes all the way under to the end so that when you dip this in honey, somehow they get the sauce all the way to the edge and then they fold the braided crust over. That, that's smart. I mean, look that's at that. original. Cheese all the way to the back. And, and sauce. I think. Yeah, cheese and sauce, man. I feel like I gotta move to the other pizza before I do honey dipping. Right. No, I think, I think you need to complete a piece. You know what we can do in different ways? Right. This is a roasted chicken, garlic chicken. There's, again, no marinara on this either. This is a garlic cream sauce at the base. And some pesto? Oh no, I don't think there's pesto on it. Not on this one, they do have a pesto Oh, there's chicken. a lot of rosemary. A lot of rosemary. I'm going in on the honey. I'm finishing a piece. I mean, that's the way you're supposed to do it, just because you don't want to, you don't want to not eat all your crust and then hog all the toppings. Maybe someone, maybe it'll get down to the point where you got four crusts over here and we're all hungry for toppings. Exactly. <laughs> now, again, this is ingenious. This folded over crust thing, which I've never understood. It also gives you a little bit of dessert in right. the middle of your meal. A little dessert reward as you go along. I'm just sprinkle the honey. I'm experiencing a, a dessert reward. Can I have half a piece of the the cheese? Like there's a small one. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what the marinara tastes like? I'm gonna take the like? marinara. That is fantastic. It's good. I gotta finish my dessert. I'm a sucker for honey on it. He said, really? And this is just so a What about Rocky Mountain Oysters? They're, They're right there. way to find out. Yep. Okay. Go for it. I'll do it. Wow, that is really, really good. Britain not only opens up for us <laughs> on tour, he's also the cup bearer. No. <laughs> the dough is the crust is almost pretzely. Yeah, yeah, it has a pretzel nature to it. Okay. It's like a like pretzel. Hey, Here goes nothing. Honey on a nut. <laughs> Honey nut. It's really not that bad. I think it took. Took it to another level. In a good way. These are dirty. No. Right. We shouldn't put those back. No. Why are you trying to drop some? 15 second rule does not apply to me. Here's a, here, okay, here's one criticism. I'm going to levy at the pizza. It's too much bread. That's what the honey's supposed to be. Right. I mean, you got a big hunk of bread. I, well, it's all pretty big. I, I mean, mean, I feel like you could do. I feel like you could go all the way down to half the size of a crust, and you would get to the proportions that I... I'm a crust eater. Eating the crust on that one slice is like eating three quarters of a pretzel. Yeah. That's a lot of it crust. It fills you up. That's why the pieces are so small. Right. Because the crust is so big. So... We're obviously voting for the pizza to win. Right. Well, I don't know if you are. Well, no. Totally. But I think it's As much as you love those balls, you like the pizza better. Right. I don't know which pizza I like better. But you don't have to make that. Right. No. (laughs) Well, you kind of took all the drama out of it again. You thought... You thought they thought someone was going to <laughs> Rocky Mountain Oysters? Let's. Put, which one do we think is better? Let's put some drama in this. Of course, I haven't eaten one of these yet. I got. You should do it. Uh, the cheese marinara pizza. I got to say, was nothing special. 
Really? I don't. I don't think. I'm a big fan of the mm. firecracker. Mm. The, I kind of feel like we got two chicken pizzas, and that was a little bit of a miscalculation. Yeah. I think we should have gone with the sausage combo that you I wanted think so. to get, but you pulled back last minute. You pulled the sausage. I was trying to come up with something more, more interesting, more signature. Boy, this is this is a tough call between these two. A lot of rosemary, like you said. I think there's too much rosemary. Oh, so you want some drama on this one? So, okay, the no drama decision is if you're going to get one thing when you're in Denver, Colorado, it should be pizza from Bojo's. But if you're going to get one pizza from Bojo's, it should be one, two, three, firecracker pizza, hot sauce and ranch dressing as the base, jalapenos, jalapenos, and braided crust with some honey on top. Now we're going to proceed to eat all of this pizza and really load up before we go on stage before our hearts out. Hey, it's not too late if you're in Denver to come see us. I mean, better hurry. It's going to be fun. <laughs>